hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is Eno in today's video we'll see how we can add users and groups and also how we can delete users and groups in Ubuntu Linux we'll be doing the examples on the terminal and uh, I already have it open so the first thing we we'll look at is how to view the ID and the group ID for a user now by default the group IDs they start with the, the number 1000 and then every other user is gonna the number is gonna increment 1001 1002 if it's the root user it's gonna be id 0 so you can just type id and that should show you the user id which is 1000 for the first user the group id is also the same so the the username and also the group name are also going to be the same by default so there's useful commands for viewing who's currently logged in and also viewing who you're logged in as if i wanted to see who i'm logged in as i can use who am i and if i want to see everybody that's logged in all users that are logged into the system i can use who and if i wanted to see what they're doing i can use w which shows you the application to also look at all the users as well as the all the groups on the system you can use the cat command and look at the directories that uh, under each C pass WD. That's the first one. This shows us all the users. And if you wanted to look at the groups, you can do uh, C group. It shows you all the groups on your system. Now, when it comes to creating a user and a group, what you can use is these two commands. There is add user. And then there's user add so add user is the preferred command because it creates the home directory when you create the user so let's create a new user here we'll do sudo uh, add user let's call the user joe and as you can see it added the user joe then the group joe and the the name of the user is joe the ID is 1001, 1001, so then the increment from 1000. And here you need to provide password for the user Joe. And I'm just gonna skip this ones. And we should have a user Joe, I can say ID Joe. And that shows me the IDs and groups. I can also say, Oops, Joe. Which should, which should also show me the groups. And we can go to car it's the WD. And the user Joe is listed at the bottom here. Same thing for the groups. We can say same thing for the groups. We can say car it's and group. And that's a new group for the user Joe. Now, when it comes to deleting a user, there's also two commands. There's user deal or user delete, and then there's del user. The preferred one, again, is the del user, as that one allows you to also remove the home directory. So let me clear this. And let's say we wanted to remove the user Joe. We can say sudo the user then we'll add remove home then the username here and that removes the user joe now if i do id joe i shouldn't find the user joe no such user now let's quickly look at how we can add and also delete a group should be two quick commands for adding, a, uh, for adding a new group, we can do sudo add group and the name of the group. Let's call it test group. And the group has been added with the group ID of 1001. If I did see uh, group, this is the group we just added or we just created and to delete it 
all we have to do is do sudo del group test group and it's been removed i can repeat the command here to look at the directory and that group and that group is no longer there so that's how we can uh, add and delete a group so like i was saying there's two different commands we can quickly look at the man pages we can see man add user and it, under the description it's going to show you it's going to tell you what it does and then let me do me quit and then we can also look at man user add so as you can see under description user add is a low level utility for adding users on debian administrators should usually use add user so this is the preferred command for adding users and not the user add command so that's all for this video that's how you can add and remove users as well as groups on an ubuntu linux machine so i hope this information has been helpful i'll catch you in my next video thanks bye